something just move? The top! Ritual has commenced. We can waste no time. Targoroth, we call you back from your tomb. Rise and join our glory. It's working. Targoroth lives. It lives. Targoroth will rise, but not for Sauron. He will fight in my army, a legion of the dead that will rival any army of Mordor. You will hear them when they come, for they will chant my name. Zog! 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 <laughs> sacrifice was not in vain.
The Witch King secures his citadel with a veil of shadow. is never truly dead. and rise again. But here you are, trying to put an end to me once more, and failing. You are a simple man. Yeah! <laughs> 
attack!
and rise again. But here you are, trying to put an end to me once more, and failing. You are a simple man. We could have been out. just waiting for someone who will listen, who will answer their call. Once you're out of the way, we will all rise again.
celebrated by the jewel smiths I taught during the Second Age.
jewelsmiths and I created many wonders, and our precision was enhanced by the techniques Sauron taught us. Each collaboration brought us closer to perfection. I've never seen a warg, but books and traveling hunters have told me plenty. The goblins of the north can ride wargs as the men of Rohan ride horses. Their howls can be heard leagues away, and their senses are keen enough to track even a ranger. What makes a warg truly fearsome is that they hunt in packs of a dozen or more. Categors are more dangerous, but they travel in smaller numbers. A feeble blessing, that. Wargs. And 
glad they don't range in the Mordor. Even a pack of wargs would find survival here difficult.
He despised the greed of men, the predictability of the dwarves. But most of all, he hated the elves who wished to embalm the world. Middle-earth will change, he told me. It will bend to my will. It will not be fixed in place, and it will not be restored to the vision of its makers. It will become something else. He wishes to remake the world in his own image. His image will be wiped away from Middle-earth when all is done. Eregion illuminate a room with a soft glow, one that leaves only the most tenuous of shadows, a light that seems willing to turn corners and reach further than it ought. When we stored these lamps in the Great Hall, I would light them for an evening every midwinter just to ensure they still functioned. They cheered me so much that I always resolved to do so more often, but then I'd forget or put it off. How I miss their light now. I fashioned these lamps and gave them to the dwarves of Moria. And they've traveled very far indeed. But in whose hands? dared to break the seal on this scroll, though I often wanted to. I found it in a dust-covered box with a label marked Maps of Southron Trade Routes. Baranor is a Haradrim, so perhaps this scroll has a map of his homeland. 
breaking the seal is strictly forbidden for those who aren't Lords of Gondor. And as much as I'm curious, I know my father would not approve. Did you ever travel to the Southern Lands? There is little there that interests me, and few who go there return. about something they call truth. To most Gondorians, this midnight urn is a simple pot of clay. But to the denizens of Minas Ethel, it represented shared sacrifice that only those who live on the frontier understand. For centuries, the name of every able-bodied resident of Minas Ethel was placed in the midnight urn, and at sunset, a name was drawn. That person would have to patrol the city's walls until sunrise. The task was ceremonial once we had a professional army, but that made it no less important. From our earliest days, it was always a neighbor watching from the walls. I was 10 the first time they drew my name, and I've never been prouder, though I could barely see over the parapet. I leave the defense of your walls to chance. It isn't about chance. It's about unity. Everyone's names are mixed together, and everyone takes a turn on the wall.
discernment. When I labored with the bringer of gifts to forge the rings of power, even Galadriel did not discern how the rings would reshape the world. Sauron's fair form masked his true nature, and neither the Lady of Light nor I could discern how the story would end.
Get it lean. 